so I wanted to drop in quickly and talk about today um, because if you don't know today is the Oscars and I actually um, make a very concerted effort to watch all of the best picture nominated movies so that I can have an intelligent conversation about the movies that um, are selected because along this is and this is something else I was doing during this yoga period was trying to get all my movies in that was kind of like my other kind of treat for myself but um, yeah a long time ago I would get upset because you know, and I would hear other people getting upset because their favorite movie didn't win, but yet no one took the time to go and see the other movies um, that are, you know, that are their contenders. And so I really think it's important, especially um, those of us that consider ourselves, you know, cultural and um, really care about movies and arts to actually take the time and go see what the Academy has nominated as you know the best for this year um, and I think it broadens you but that's a whole aside so um, anyway so I'm getting ready to go do that but today was um, a very full day we had um, a self practice after our morning meditation and I'm really really digging the meditations I'm getting into them I'm enjoying them a lot um, we had our self practice, which now I'm really getting used to kind of connecting my own sequences, doing what feels good in my body, um, and then just letting it flow from there. And then we had like a three, three and a half hour workshop on back bends, which I love. Woo -woo. So the weird thing that I realized today that I had never really thought about, or I don't know why I would have had a reason to think about it, but the fact that like really all of our bodies are so different and you know for me doing 20 um, you know 20 30 um, chaturangas like in a row is like killer to me because you know I'm not the best push-up person to begin with so that's really tough for me I get tired especially after we speed up and we're supposed to do like a hundred and eight at the end of March which um, scares me a little but then on the flip side inversions and back bends and I think really being aligned in the poses I'm actually good at um, I didn't have really any problems doing the back bends today and it was really great to learn how to get in and out of them properly I learned where my neck should be and when my head should come up and the order which before I was able to do them and, and thankfully I'd never gotten hurt but um, the idea that there is a way to safely get in and out of the poses was key and I really really enjoyed it but it just really shocked me today I think to see some of the who the people I consider some of the strongest in the class in terms of you know vinyasa flow um, your traditional hatha were having little more difficulties with the back bends um, it would just shock me, but it was also a good reminder that hey all of us have our strengths all of us have our weaknesses our areas to improve upon um, You know none of us are perfect and we all have room to grow and also to never judge a book by its cover You know, I think I mean there are women in there of all ages um, You know 22 to I think someone's like mid 50s, you know definitely people that are in their 40s and 30s so um and it's interesting because you can't really say, well, this person can't do X, Y, and Z because they're that age. Or this person, they're really young and they can do all of the poses. That is not the case. And then different people have different injuries that they're working with. So I think this class in particular was very instructive for me because A, I needed a good day because yesterday was rough. So for me, I needed a good day. <laughs> I needed to come feel a little bit better about myself, um, especially after the student teaching episode yesterday. And it was very interesting because uh, Tadasana, which is a mountain pose, the way our teacher taught it and the way the workshop teacher taught it were actually a little bit different. So that was interesting and that was my pose for yesterday for my student teaching. So that was interesting. It was enlightening. And I'm like, thank you, God, you know, whatever for having 
more instruction on this pose. So um, anyway, it was really good and really, as a teacher, we learned a lot of the support and props and things that you'll need to support students that cannot do these types of poses, um, which was very, very helpful. So all in all, it was a good day and we ended on restorative, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite types of yoga. I actually love restorative yoga. Um, so that's our day and I'm gonna go watch the Oscars and sneak in some weekly planning so I can figure out when I'm doing my other yoga classes this week. Love and light, y'all.